Disclaimer, this video was filmed during Feral's limited early access version 0.3.8, or closed beta. Any gameplay you're about to see could be subject to change in the future. Hey! No swearing on my profile! No hex, no bricks! Let's talk about what the hex. I'm Ink Corey and I'll be your host for today's convenient guide to lining up colored hexagons for 45 minutes so you can get COOL HATS! Takes a little while to master, but currently, Hex is the best game to grind for unobtainable ingredients, unless you're rich, and by rich I mean have two dollars. But, not even money can buy the sweet, sweet satisfaction of- <coughs> <coughs> Hear me out though, it's worth the grind. Although it's not great for earning likes, at high levels you can earn all kinds of neat accessories, such notable mentions as a couple of garbage bags, some clearance jewelry from Hot Topic, and uh, wait, hold on, what's this? The the droplet shapes upon this helm symbolize the tears shed for suffering. <laughs> when the when the twinkles start a class war, I think I know what they're going to be wearing. <laughs> Jokes aside, these items are actually really cool and also great for trading right now. To kickstart your quest for hats, here's some tips to get you started. Starting off at number one, going for triple chains is your top priority all the time, and is more important than space efficiency. Unless you're really tight on space, a bomb or a spiral will come before you even have to worry about losing. Number two, paying attention to what pieces you have available and being aware of the shapes of pieces you could potentially receive will allow you to strategize your placement to maximize your score. Planning ahead is the best way to go about playing the game. Don't act on impulse. Number three, in the beginning especially, it's usually difficult to get triples right off the bat. What you want to do is set up for them, and that usually includes lining them up in an alternating pattern so that a piece of a specific shape could bridge them all together. Setting up for a triple is the only time you should go deliberately for singles. Otherwise, you should always be going for the largest combos. Number 4. If you didn't know this already, if a spiral is queued to appear next turn, an icon will show in the top left corner of the element's score section. Number five, if you can avoid it, don't leave empty pockets of one or two spaces. Small pieces like that are uncommon and usually take a couple of turns to remedy. Although it can be problematic later, sometimes it's worth it for a large triple. Number six, bombs and spirals can be used effectively only if you plan. You should try to follow up with a high triple or double. Bombs are especially versatile and you will almost always be able to get a high triple after using one, given that your large groups are within close proximity. Transitioning nicely into number 7, keep your groups close! Keeping your high number elements close together makes it not only more convenient to add elements to the conglomeration, but also increases the chances of you being able to make a triple with all three of your largest groups. Number 8, don't separate your elements. Try to avoid merging the same element into two different groups. By separating them, you will not score enough points for move and have way less combo potential. That being said, number 9, focus on your largest groups. Although shooting for triples is great, doubles are better when you have to pick between your largest groups and smaller ones. Ultimately, it's up to your jurisdiction. What I usually do is I look at how far away I am from my next spiral, and then base effectiveness off of that. And finally, number 10, pay attention to when your next bomb comes. A move that would otherwise be detrimental can be worth it if it's followed by a bomb. And that's all for 10 tips for what the hex. Thank you so much for taking the time to give this video a watch. I put a lot of effort into filming and editing, and it means a lot to me. If you have any specific questions or would like to share tips that I didn't mention, please give a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Considering this is the first video like this that I've produced, feedback is more than welcome. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye